Hello, this is Namra. Uh, let's learn about O level physics 5054 today. So, scope introduction of physics, and we will discuss about syllabus outline and paper pattern in detail. So, what's physics? Physics is all around us. Yes, it's our nature. Physics is a branch of science in which we study about matter and energy and their interaction. Let's talk about syllabus outline. We have total five sections. For this, we have journal physics and where we will done with physical quantities, units and measurements. In section two, we will go through from kinematics, dynamics, mass weight and density, turning effects of forces, deformation pressure, and newly added topic that is momentum. Okay, then we have uh, other section. In this section, we will go through from energy and thermal physics. Then we have a portion of electricity and magnetism. Here we will go through from all these chapters. And the last top, uh, section we have is atomic physics and space physics. So let's come to a paper pattern. When we are talking about the paper pattern of O-level physics 5054, we have generally four papers and the candidates are going to appear in three papers. The paper one is MCQs based, paper two is theory based, paper three is practical test based, and paper four is alternative to practical. So we mainly attempt paper one, paper two, and paper four. Uh, but just there are a few changes uh, from paper uh, in the paper from 2023 till 25. And let's see the details of paper. Details of paper one. So paper one is some CQs based paper. The marks, the total marks for the paper is 40 marks. There is no changes in the paper uh, from 2023 till 25. Uh, marks allocated for the paper is again one hour. Let's see the paper pattern. So this is the paper in front of you. Physics uh, paper one, multiple choices. Time allocated to you is one hour. Instructions are carefully read and uh, it's given in front of you. Let's see these instructions. There are 40 questions in this paper and you have four possible answers, A, B, C, D. Choose the one you considered correct and record your answer in, in soft pencil on the multiple choice answer sheet. So multiple choice answer sheet is provided to you that is in uh, that was a bubble sheet and you have to note down your correct answer by using the HP pencil which is recommended to you. So before starting the paper must write your name, center number, candidate number on the multiple choice answer sheet provided to you and do not use correction fluids, do not write any barcodes, you can use scientific calculators, information for the paper, the total marks for the paper is 40. Each correct answer will secure one mark. Any rough walking should be done on this question paper. So let's see the paper which is in front of you. So that is the question number one and you can see the four options are in front of you. You have to choose any one that you uh that is that was the correct one, and you have to note that correct one in the answer sheet provided to you. So in total, we have forty questions, forty multiple choices question, and each one carry one mark. So this type of paper we have for paper one multiple based questions. So let's uh, came to the other part, the paper two, that is theory paper. Okay, yes, there 
are many changes in the paper. Section B, optional questions has been removed from the paper to theory replaced with the short answers and the structural questions. Means uh, we have a lot of changes that now we have no more optional questions and there are no choices in the paper. Just the marks are also changed up to 2022. Marks for the paper is 75. And for now, from 2023 till 25, now the marks are 80. The time allocated is remains same. That is one hour, 45 minutes. Let's review the paper. So I have taken the new uh, paper pattern. The, so I have taken a specimen paper in front of you. So paper two theory marks uh, for the total marks are uh, 80 marks and time allocated for the paper is one hour 45 minutes. Must read the instructions carefully. So you have no choice, answer all the questions. Must use black or dark blue pen. You may use HB pencil or for any diagram or graphs. Write your name, center name, candidate name in the box at the top of the page. Do not use any erasable pen or flute, correcting flute. Do not write any barcode in the paper. You may use calculators. You should also uh, show your all working and appropriate units. Take the weight of one Newton to be 9.8 Newton. That is a major change in the paper. The value of G is 9.8. Now you are not going to write 10 meter per second now. So information in front of you is the total marks for the paper is 80. The number of marks for each question or each part is shown in the bracket. Let's see the paper. So this type of questions are going to become in paper two and the space is provided to you for, for your answer and the marks for each question is given in front of you. So you have to show your working over there and the total marks are given to you in the form of brackets here. So you can see we have these type of questions and the total marks of each question is around six, eight, 10, 12, 14, not more than that. So the total questions in the paper is, is around 10 to 11 maximum. You can see these type of questions we have in the paper too. Yes. And the blank page is also provided to you for your convenience, for your rough work. Okay, let's see the paper three. That is practical based paper. We are not going to attempt that paper. Uh, Let's see the paper four that is alternative to practical. Okay, yes, there are major changes in this paper. That is practical based paper. And total marks uh, up to for this paper up to 2022 is 30, but for now it's 40 from 2023 till 25 for uh, for syllabus 5054. Time allocated for this paper is one hour. Let's see the paper pattern. So this type of paper will be in front of you. So you have to note down the candidate number, your center number, your candidate uh, name and candidate number. So that is paper for alternative to practical. I have taken the specimen paper in front of you. Instructions are almost same as paper two, but the total marks for the paper is 40 and definitely the marks of each questions uh, given to you in the form of bracket. Again, you can see you have a blank pages. You can do your rough work over there. So the questions are practical based questions. You can see here and the spaces are provided to you. You have to use this space for answer the question and marks are also provided to you for each question in the in bracket. Graphs are the major part of P4. So you have to carefully plot the graph and uh, definitely many time in this paper, you have to find out gradients. All the questions are practical based questions, uh, but the newly added topic uh, 
for now in paper four is planning question. Let's see how was the planning question now. So that was the planning question in front of you and they will give you any situation uh, where you are, they have asked you a few questions. You have to design the planning by your own. You have to answer these all questions. It's up to you how you can plan that situation and you have to note down the situation in the provided lines given to you. So that planning question is around six marks or sometimes seven marks. Okay, let's came back to PPTs. So these are the major questions in ATP. Question number one is practical based questions is around 11 to 10 marks. Again, question two and three is also practical based question. Again, it is of uh, question two is of 10 marks and around uh, question number three is around 14 to 13 marks. And mainly planning question is around six to seven marks. So it's all about paper four. Uh, let's see what are the contents which are removed now from syllabus 5054. So from unit pressure, uses of manometer is removed now. Transmission of pressure in hydraulic systems is also removed from chapter, temperature, principle, thermometer and practical thermometer is removed from thermal properties of matter lead and heat topic is removed from from magnetism methods of magnetization and demagnetization and magnetic screening topic is removed from introductory electronics major topics are removed thermometric emission and cathode rays and also uh, logic gates are also removed so yes there are some contents which are added in now that is the main topic that is momentum and the new section that is the space physics that is the whole section that you need to know you need to study regarding all the SLO provided by in the syllabus Okay, so here I have attached some marking schemes. You can, whenever you are going to practice your past paper, must go through the marking scheme to check your answers. So that is the marking scheme of paper one. So uh, you can see the right answers are given to you and the marks for the right answer is also given to you in front of you. So this type of marking scheme will be available uh, to you on internet. Let's see the marking scheme of paper two theory. So you can see here the marking scheme in front of you. The answer of each question is given to you. The key term mainly is given to you. And if you're using this key term, uh, you will get one mark. B1 mean one mark. And your answer, um, definitely they have given you some chances of error. As you can see here, the 38 plus minus one kilonewton means you have a chance of uh, one uh, kilonewton plus minus, right? So you will get score one for your answers so the answers are given to you in front of you you can check your answer after practicing your past paper by using a uh, marking scheme again the paper for a to be the marking scheme in front of you all right so that is the marking scheme for p4 Answers are given to you. If you're using these key terms, you will get your one mark. Again, all the answers of all the questions are given to you and marks is in front of you. Okay. So these are the marking schemes. These are some instructions that I have also already discussed to you whenever I'm showing you the paper. Uh, very important to this to discuss about the books. So I mainly recommend Physics Matter to students because it's a student-friendly book. Uh, yes, uh, but now the fifth edition is also on, so you can use the fifth edition. That was a good one also. Hoder Education, that was a newly published book. You can use this book, uh, but uh, according to my opinion, that was a second reference. All the topics are here, but must, must use physics matter, right? Uh, if you want to see animations, 
you can use the ebook of her. Uh, I really like that book. Stephen Popple also used it as a reference, and definitely the past paper is important fun. So it's all about physics 5054. Hope you have a clear glance of the whole uh, paper pattern and syllabus. Everything is clear to you. So goodbye.